first close your right nostril inhale from left twitch exhale from right inhale from right twitch exhale from left so this is one round so we'll practice five to ten rounds based on your uh, breathing capacity and when you get exhausted do not overstretch your sense do not force your navel cap nasal cavity so much uh, whenever you how much ever you are comfortable just practice so now join me inhale from left twitch exhale from right inhale from right twitch exhale from left inhale from left twitch exhale from right inhale twitch exhale 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 and relax yourself just inhale from both nostrils and exhale from both nostrils in a relaxed way remember this is i am giving a demo and then showing you so if you know about all these breathing techniques you can keep your eyes closed for the entire pranayam session or breathing session now we'll begin with kapalbhati very powerful technique for weight loss but it should be done only in an empty stomach so in kapalbhati you have a forceful exhalation you can keep the hand on stomach to feel that just contract your stomach and exhale so you can see my hand going inside now everybody join me in the practice we do 10 times and relax kapal bhati and hastika should not be done too much as per everybody's comfort level you can practice and slowly increase over a period of time next is hastika hastika is a uh, forceful inhalation and forceful exhalation so if you are inhaling faster in kapal bhati is just forceful exhalation this is oh, we are focusing on both of them so inhale fast exhale fast inhale fast exhale fast but remember try to keep your shoulders intact do not do this this is wrong you are you might be harming your shoulders relax your shoulders relax your entire body and just focus on inhalation and exhalation forcefully now join me 10 times and relax yourself just close your eyes relax your brain deep breath in and exhale just feel relaxed you might feel little compression in your stomach both of them are very good for weight loss because they work on your digestive system and help you in digestion so anybody having digestive issues you can practice both of them okay now today we will have stretching but while standing so it is also similar but while standing this also improves your balance by 
because you're standing and rotating the leg. So first, your right leg just rotate by focusing on the ankle and have your balance. Reverse the dynamics for me. And relax. Switch. Rotate. Remember very slowly while you focus on your ankle. Reverse. This is very good for people who play football or running or people who like to trek because it will strengthen your ankle and remove the or lower the risk of ankle boosting. Next is for your knees. So just leg straight and bend forward and rotate. One, two, three, four, and five. Now reverse. One, two, three, four, and five. This is very good for your legs. Now something for your back. Legs slightly apart. And rotate. One, two, three, four, five. Now reverse. One, two, three, four, and five. And relax. So this is for your hips. Now something for your shoulders. Rotate your hand completely in clockwise direction. Now reverse the direction with complete awareness and focus on your shoulders. And relax. Similarly for your left shoulder. Very slowly. Very good, especially now when you're working from home and do not have a good posture. This will help your shoulders to open up. And relax. Now similarly, we have another one where we have to open up your hands. So inhale and open. Exhale and contract. This is very good for your shoulders as well as your chest. So inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. And relax. Now, next movement, same. Just look down and rotate your neck very slowly. Reverse the direction. And relax. So these are some of the stretching, yogi stretching, which you can do while standing or you can do while sitting in your office. So sit on the chair and you can practice all of them. Very simple, but very beneficial. Now, again, something for your shoulders. And spiral the shoulders. And just twist towards left side.
slowly come back. Remember, the hands should not be down or up, but only in line with the shoulders. Now, right side. And slowly relax. Now, inhale and take your hands up. Inclock your fingers and come on your toes. Slowly come back. Now, side stretching. Left side. Center. Right side. And center. And relax. So these are also preparatory poses. Now we'll do some advanced postures. We'll begin with a warrior pose series. So after that you feel like a warrior. Very good for confidence. Spread your legs apart. Place right leg outside or just make it to right 90 degrees. Take balance on the right leg such that it comes at a 90 degree. Do not go ahead or behind. It should be exactly 90 degree. And then just raise your hands and look towards right side. Come here. Keep your hand on the right leg and your left hand just above your ear. So that you, your hand and leg, and entire body is in one line. This body goes to second variation. Then you go to third variation. Just keep your hand down. So you come back. And relax. Now similarly for your left leg. Tilt your left leg outside. First, anti -dipping. For it for one. Variation. Two. You can take your leg behind. If you want to stretch more. You can put flexibility. And three, take your hand down. Come back to two. One and relax. Relax your knees, the muscles. Now, the next one. Similarly, spread your legs, rotate the right leg, and bring your both hands together and try to. Lift up. And slowly come back. So this is the final warrior pose. Similarly with the left leg. 90 degree. Close the hands together. And this. Relax. All these warrior poses are very good for your shoulders and your chest. Since everybody is now working from home and uh, not having a good uh, 
exercise as well they are not able to go to gym or any other physical activity uh, shoulders become very rigid so all these will help you to open up your shoulder now keep your legs apart just try to go forward keep your hands on the ground and look down with your eyes closed this is very good for your face your head as well as your hair those who are very flexible can go further down and keep your head on the ground and try to hold your legs but this is also good those who can do this as well this is very good for your head hair Face because the oxygen and the blood circulation to your forehead and increases. Slowly you can come back. Keep your eyes closed and slowly open your eyes. Bring your legs together. Now, whenever you go down, you should do a backward bend. So, to bring your flexibility to your back, so just hold your back. And stretch backwards. And relax. Now just lift your leg up. We'll do some balance. Start with left leg, slowly relax. Now right leg. So how do you balance yourself? The trick is uh, for this and the future asana which I'll be telling you is just find a point in front of you which is not moving and focus on it. Once your focus is fine, then you slowly, without telling your mind, lift your body and hold. But a concentration on the object should continue, which is the front of you. It should ideally be in line with your eyes or slightly above and slightly down, but not too down. And relax. This is very good for your digestion as well. Or any gases, if anybody is having gastric issue, you can practice this. Now all relax, everybody long breath, inhale, exhale. Now we'll do three pose, another very good posture for your eyes or your balance. You might have seen a lot of people doing this and it is really beneficial. But if you're doing for the first time, take support of the wall and then stand near the wall. How to do? Take your left leg, keep it on your thighs. Once the balance is done, then slowly raise your hands above your forehead. Relax. And take your leg down. So, Similarly, I have also a wall. This builds a confidence in your mind that, okay, I will not fall. So, go near the wall. Keep your right leg onto the thighs. Once your balance is ready, take your hands up. And remember the balance technique. Find a point in front of you or an object and focus on it. And length. Those who find it difficult to keep your leg over here can keep their leg just below the knee as well. This is also fine. But do not keep it on the knee because if you keep your leg on the knee, it 
impacts or pressures the knees. So it should either be below or above. That is the only thing you need to remember. Now something for your back. We'll twist our body to one side. This is also recommended practice for diabetes. So just stretch yourself towards one side and hands in one line. Inhale and come back. Exhale and go down. Inhale. Exhale. Remember, breathing is very important. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale and relax. Now both hands on one side. Exhale and try to touch your knee with your forehead. If you feel pressure on your thighs, it's very good stretching. Inhale and come back. Exhale and go down. Inhale and come back. Exhale and go down. Inhale and come back. Exhale and go down. You feel stretching in your thighs, calf muscles, very good stretching exercise. And relax. There's a recommended practice for diabetes. Anything which twists your stomach is good for digestion and diabetes. Just remember that. Okay. So now we'll do some relaxation for legs because we have done a lot of stretching and strengthening. So just now we begin the relaxation. Just lie down on the ground. Savasana. First, we'll do Uttan Parasana or we'll try to get your left leg up 90 degree. Relax, right leg up. Relax. Now both legs together. These are also very good for your legs. Till now we were, what we were doing was, is we were strengthening our thighs and calf muscles. Now we are relaxing them. And relax. You do it once more. Left leg up. Relax. Right leg up. Relax. Both legs together. Close the eyes if possible. Just follow my instructions. And relax. Now fold your legs, we'll do bridge pose and lift your body from your stomach, hips, above the ground. There's your right leg, change, left leg, 
change and relax. We'll do it once more. Everybody join me. Lift your body up. Right side. Above the ground. Change. Left leg above the ground. In line with your knee. Do not take it above or below. It should be the straight. And relax. Now we will do something for your gastric issues or digestion. Raise your leg, fold and hold, and try to touch your forehead. It's very simple. It's called Kavan Muktasan series 2. Relax your forehead, keep holding your leg. Change the right leg, fold and hold, try to press the forehead, and relax. Relax your leg. Now both legs together. Complete one. Lift up. Hold. Hold. Relax your forehead. Keep holding your legs. Relax your legs. Now back to the the best relaxation technique for any physical activity. And parallel to your shoulders, first legs towards left side and head towards right side. So it should be opposite. Then it is to head movement. Change, leg towards right side, head towards left side. Just feel the stretching in your body. This you can do before sleeping as well on your bed. Change, now distance between your legs and again twist. The distance will be such that one. Knee should fall on second leg's ankle and head towards right side. Change. And relax. Now come to Savasan. We'll end the session with a guided meditation. Legs slightly apart, hands slightly away from the body, palms facing upwards. Focus only on your breath. Inhale and exhale. Long breath, inhale. Deep breath out. Long breath, inhale. Breathing out. Just relax your body. All the stretching which you did, now you relax it. All the muscles which will strengthen, you relax them all. To a guided tool of one mind onto various parts of the body, starting from toe to your head. Start focusing on your fingers your leg, the lower part of your feet. Your ankle. Remember, if you're not able to focus, 
just expand and contract the muscles in that area or visualize the stretching which we did in the initial part of the session. Now focus on your knees. Focus on your thighs. On your hips. Keep your eyes closed, no physical movement. On your stomach, on your chest, On your entire back, from lower back to upper back, focus on your spine. Now focus on your fingers, your palm, your wrist. We'll move the energy upwards. On your elbow, onto your shoulders, move the energy upwards, focus on your neck, feel the heaviness in your body below your neck. Focus on your chin. On your mouth, have a smile on your face. On your cheeks, on your ears. On your nose. We are coming towards the end of the current meditation. So keep your all your focus on your head. Focus on your eyes. On your forehead. Remember no physical movement. The whole energy is in your head, concentrating. Focus on your third eye, center point between your eyes. 
If you have any thoughts, just take your mind on the thoughts. If you don't have any thoughts, just relax yourself. And I'll take you up after this second. Slow movement in your fingers, in your legs. Bring your legs together. Twist towards one side. Take support of your hands and get up. Remember, never take jump while getting up. Uh, now slowly, grab your palms. Massage your face, your eyes, your forehead, your throat. And while your eyes are covered, just open your eyes. And relax. So with this, we come to the end of the session. Uh, a general guidance to everyone, uh, when you get up in the morning, if you improve this just one habit, uh, you'll have a very healthy life. Do not take jerk while getting up because your body is in a very rest position for seven to eight hours with your back straight, your spine relaxed, and suddenly you get up by jerking it. That harms your body. So twist towards one side, turn towards one side, take support of your hands and get up. If you improve this one habit, all your back pain issues will generally start uh, when you have 40, 45, 50, 55. In the later years, when you grow old, you'll be able to avoid them. You have a very strengthy, very uh, powerful spine. So with this, we come towards the end of the session. Thank you for practicing yoga with me. Your host, Ashok Vishnoi from Pushise Yoga. How do you